They said Obi is organizing protests. If you people are arresting, it will make matter worse. Isaac fires him. Isaac fires say don't warn Nigerian government. He said this line one I won't go so. Say Peter will be the organized protests. And this is and that. It will be your worst nightmare if you dare arrest Peter will be. You can't ar arrest uh, someone because you feel uh, he's being supported by majority of uh, Nigerian youth. And now uh, there is a, a scheduled protest by August 1st. You now feel or you don't assume, don't insinuate that Peter Obi supporters are the one calling for protest. Come to think of it, APC, PDP, Labour Party, every one of us, now we did this country. You understand? So even the hardship, when we they pass through, everybody they pass through it. So this is not the matter of one calling out a particular party that you and your supporters, you know, are the one organizing a uh, protest. That is really very wicked to say. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Isaac Fayoshi, the younger brother of the former governor of Ikiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi has advised the federal government not to dare arrest the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi. A statement is coming after Bayo Ononoga accused Peter Obi of planning the nationwide protest. In a viral video that was shared on the official X handle of Peter Obi grassroots mobilization on Monday from 0.45, Fire Shea stated that there is hardship in the country, but the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is not ready to confront the truth. He said those handling the media and information under the current administration have not been performing their roles very well. Fayoshi said the federal government should stop blaming Peter Obi for the current hardship in the country. He said if Peter Obi is arrested, the matter will get worse. He said the best thing the federal government can do is to change the system. They said Obi is organizing protests. If you people arrest him, it will make your matter worse. The best thing is to look for a way to change the system. Give us new constitution that can accommodate all these your problems. This is where said though. But arrest people be for words. Who are those people giving flip off to such whatever? When did embarking on public protest become a crime? Why are you people who have organized and participated in public protest? In the past, suddenly looking for who to scapegoat today for the forthcoming public protest. Who are those being used by Bayer Ononoga and other inclusive uh, big courts in the APC? Well, uh, now so we say um, now one program, when did they do for Nigeria? You say, uh, Nigerian government led by President Bola Metinubu, they are not ready to face reality. And then blaming A, B, C, D for your, your failed administration will not help anybody. This is not a time of coming to social media to start attacking Nigerians who are feeling the brunt of this hardship. This is not the time. You understand? If they know what they are doing, I expected much from that man, at least to abuse Nigeria. Tell them what they will hear. Tell them what you are doing. Tell them what you are about to do. You understand? That, he, that you are ready to elevate poverty from the country. It's not by attacking people. That cannot work. That is just blackmailing. You understand? They are confused already. They are confused. This is where you get, where you feel that you know it all. When people, they tell you, not be like this, not be like, eight pieces just like that. They have been like that. Not just this administration. And I don't know why they are always afraid. This President Bola Tinubu protested against Jonathan back to back. Not in way, not talk against President uh, Gulag Jonathan then. But today, you are afraid of people protesting against you. Why? 
why is it is it is it is it is it is it, is it, a, is it a crime for people to protest that is just the only way people can convey you know their grievances to the government as a day here now they talk the other person day there they talk government cannot take it seriously but when they don't come like this they go not say ah this matter serious because true true they don't know they know they feel what nigerians are feeling they are not in their shoes to understand that life had become very horrible terrible for nigerians whether they like it or not arresting someone or arresting people who are saying we are going to protest we are going to tell nigerian uh, nigerian government that we are tired of this kind of life it's not going to solve the problem you are making it worse it was a shame to hear that a governor a governor a governor advising nigerians to consider the current economic hardship as a text from god rather than resorting to protest that is that that is just who they are you understand but you are not feeling what Nigerians are feeling. Your children are not there. Your family member, they are not included. Jigawa State Governor, Governor Big, Big Governor, Big Governor, they tell Nigerians so, may they accept the, the hardship as a text from God, trial from God. They're using the deceive people. I better make a drop up for you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.